everyone. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> we're here with Scribbler today, and we're going to be just doing some PvP. Yeah, I'm here with Squaga. Best. I'm not actually that good at PvP, despite what some people think. <laughs> I don't know. Compared to me, you're pretty good. Well, um, since this is a new series for my channel, uh, hey guys. The series will probably be called, like, Random PvP or something along those lines. I'm yeah, basically going to be... Basically going to be going on PvP servers and trying to give PvP tips and stuff. And I might be doing it with special guests. And uh, today we have Squad of Melon. And yep, and I'll try to, sh you know, if this ends up being a series on my channel, same applause. Yeah. But I doubt that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Unless we do it often. I mean, I'm willing to do this anytime, but still. <laughs> I'll probably be, like, giving tips as I come across things that I'm doing wrong or other people are doing wrong. Okay, um, tip number one. Backstabbing is always the best option for, uh, melee. Oh, hi, by the way. Oh, what do you- what did you do? What did I do? I have no idea what just happened. Oh, I'm dead. I teleported out of the water. So did I. But I ended up right in someone's face and died. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would give tips, but I'm just not good at PvP. So, I can't. <laughs> so yeah, um, there is not much I can say about melee. Honestly, I hate melee in every aspect of it. I prefer it so much. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, still have a cough, guys. I'm sorry, but yeah. I'd say my only tips I can give for melee are backstabbing is always the best option and do not jump. Because when you jump, you get knocked around like a ragdoll and it really just enables the enemy to really completely destroy you. Also, try to circle your enemies while you're... Yes. Uh... Move around a lot in melee. That's another really good tip. Even with bow fights, you should be moving around a lot. Yeah. Both well, fights in in any fight never stay in one spot. And if you can double team someone, like sync up with them while they're fighting someone else, it helps. Yeah, like you just did to me. And then you know, um, always like getting revenge on people while they're trying to do that is uh, always good too. <laughs> oh, and of course, you <laughs> kill me. Of course. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I am mainly, I would say I'm mainly known for my bow skills that are honestly not very good. I'm a decent uh, shot sometimes, some days I just have bad days where I can't land a shot no matter what I do. Okay, I've seen some of your UHC videos, I know you have a good shot. <sighs> you again! It's the same guy too. This stupid Ellie is gonna kill me, no, what the heck! I could not hit him! Also, that's a good thing on melee. If you can hit them back, like, while well, they can't land a hit on you. Oh. I'll get revenge, I'll get revenge. <coughs> I got revenge on you. Okay. Yeah, so, like, if you're hitting them, and they, if you're, like, sprinting while hitting them, it'll push them back so they can't land a hit on you. Yeah. That's it's deadly, them. especially for something like UHC. Yeah, um, my best advice for... Bow combat, um, I'll say this, bows do more damage than swords, so they should always be your first option in a fight, and you should always try and keep your distance and get into a bow fight as much as possible. If the enemy's trying to go for a melee fight, get onto the high ground so you can knock them backwards as they try to climb up. They'll have an advantage in a melee fight because they could hit up higher than you, but if you're good at, um, what some people call bow spamming, I don't really like to call it that because... Bow spamming is normally only if you're, like, within, like, one block of somebody, so it's basically what should be a melee fight, and you're just sitting there shooting your bow. What I find is, like, what a lot of people call bow spamming, but what really isn't is when they're about seven or eight blocks away and you just shoot down at them and stuff. I That's what I tend to do, and a lot of people call me out on bow spamming, and I don't find that very cool. But, yeah. Like this guy right now, you, he's actually bow spamming. Like, that was yeah. a couple blocks away and he was oh, hitting no. me. Dexter. <sighs> yeah, 
if you're within melee range and you're shooting your bow, that is what I would consider bow spamming. But if you were like just out of melee range or a little bit farther, I would definitely not call that bow spamming. I get so annoyed when people will like log off the server when they think people are bow spamming. And when I end up doing that from like seven or eight blocks away and they just log off, it's very irritating. Yeah, especially like, I feel like you shouldn't get annoyed at bow spamming because like, you know that if someone's shooting at you and you can't get close to them, you should shoot back. You shouldn't just yeah. like keep going to try to get melee. Yeah, that's another thing in melee. Learn to dodge a bow. Never run straight. If you're run if you're running straight at a person to try and melee fight them, that is not a good idea. Because they will just what some people call bow spamming. They will just shoot you backwards and you won't be able to make any ground. You need to learn to serpentine if you really want a melee fight. Oh. Or you need to learn how to throw an ender pearl. <laughs> but you know, you don't always have ender pearls. Like in UFC, yeah. ender pearls aren't normally an option unless you took a risk and killed an enderman. Yeah. And endermen and are really rare to find anyways, so. Not to mention, yeah. their drop rates are extremely low. Yeah. So, factor in all those things and you most likely won't get an ender pearl in a UHC game and whatnot. So, this is all true. <laughs> so you can't really rely on ender pearls. You have to mainly rely on skill at dodging and shooting and whatnot. I say like mm. whatnot and and such and stuff like that. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> well, this is the bow battle of the century between me and you. Oh, wait, that's you. Oh, man, that I is. That was Dexter. No, because you can. I'm I'm way lower than you. And health. Oh, and you shot me. This is what I mean about your aim. I'm like not even getting close to you, am I? Eh, your shots are only about like two blocks off. Oh, and then no. General Bradley. Oh god. No, General Bradley died. Hey, you you suck. Me. Yeah, but then someone double teamed. <laughs> I got him. Did you? Yes, I did. I won't shot him, Hennis. It's just me, you, and General Bradley shooting each other. I don't know. Oh no, it's just me and you. But still, that was like 10 spots in chat. Oh, here you are again. And I'm going to demonstrate the tactic I was talking about earlier. They try and climb up the hill, and you can always just shoot them backwards. Not to mention I run into cactuses, and I'm just <laughs> bad at this. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing. Situational awareness is very useful in UHCs. You have to know your surroundings in order to get, uh, in order to be good at PvP. Like, say you're in a plains, but there's an extreme hills next to you. If you see a player, you might want to fall back to the extreme hills in order to, um, oh no, oh, how did I survive that? <laughs> oh my god! If you want to get into a bow fight, you might want to fall back into the extreme hills. And... Like, in deserts, and you always have to watch out for, like, natural uh, disasters waiting to happen. Like, hills you can fall off of, um, cacti you can walk into, rivers you can go into. Being in the water is never a good idea in any kind of fight. Because the enemy will most likely have a bow, and they will be able to shoot you very easily in the water. Unless you know for a fact that your enemy does not have a bow, then you can use the trick underwater where you're hitting them up and they cannot land a hit. Yes, but you always have but to be careful. But it's very that. rare you'll find an enemy without a bow. Yes, bows are always my top priority in UHCs. I think my best on the server has been a 10 kill streak. Oh, that's pretty good. And I just posted that video actually. It was pure luck, though. I just, like, took two kills from a kill steal, and then used those pots at full health. Oh, no, 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 no. No! It's not Die. bow spamming, I'm not in melee, no! Okay, you got me. Hate First, or the second time I've ever killed you. <laughs> also, let it be known, you can see ender pearls. So, like, that guy, I saw where his enderpearl was going to land and aim my bow right at him. Yeah, that's so also I, another good thing for the server. But and yeah. mo like we said, most of the time there won't be enderpearls, but if there are, you can see where they're going to land. So it's not like you have a surprise attack. Yeah. 
And uh, from my end, if you just saw that, that was Serpentine, what he was trying to show. Yeah. And, um, I'll tell you get um, I forgot to tell you, everybody on my channel, the IP to this server will be in the description. It's in oh, yeah. 6.4, I think, right now. I'm probably just gonna... I don't know when you're gonna upload this, but I'll probably just try and upload at the same time. Um, my schedule, well, I can... My I have like a lot really of extra videos that I can yeah, so do upload. I. Like, no! I, like, I have, like, my schedule going all the way back to, like, October 3rd or something. Like, that's how backed up I am on videos. Oh, wow, that's that's a lot. I've got... I try to yeah. keep an extra video in my library at all times in case of something where I need to post a video late or something. Yeah. Oh, my God, this General Bradley guy's crazy. Oh, there's a person right next to me. What are they doing? Well, that was very awkward, guys, but... Goodbye, life. <laughs> but that was definitely an, uh... Definitely a way to show that you can hit people farther uh, when you're down than you can when you're up. Because that guy couldn't hit me, and I managed to land, like, four or five hits on them. And they were, like, stuck on a block or something. Um, I have no clue what just happened there. But... Also... Um, this is just a tip mainly, not really for PvP, but this only applies to UHC. Constantly look at what their health is on the tab menu. Yeah. I mean, if you're recording, it's not good to do that, but... <laughs> but yeah, it just kind of covers the whole screen. But still, like, if you know what their enemy health is, you have a huge advantage. Yeah. And always make sure you look at your health. Never walk into a melee fight when you only have, like, three or four hearts. I cannot yeah. sprint. Ah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, 66 blocks. Ah, of course. Oh. Oh. No, my ender pearl lands a second after I die. That always manages to happen. Also, this is not bow spamming, guys. I'm not sure if you can see this on Scribs channel, but no. You probably oh. can. Oh, <laughs> maybe right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, this guy is what I would call a bow spammer. He was within melee range, but continued to shoot. Oh. No, happy Kirby, don't steal it. Yes. Haha, uh -huh, take that, happy Kirby. <laughs> Also, PvP logging, even though it helps you, don't do it. Yeah. It's a joke. PvP logging's never a good idea. Oh man, this happy Kirby guy's making all the wrong mistakes. And what are those mistakes? Um, he jumped off the world to throw an Ender Pearl, which is normally a good idea, but he managed to throw it into a spot where he took a crap load of full damage. And now he's stuck in a 2x1 hole. I got him. Wow. And the pot threw out, and you're probably gonna try and take it. We'll be having a lot. Okay, see, that's not bow spam, that's just annoying. <laughs> it is. Oh. Oh no. I definitely prefer <laughs> melee. <laughs> I always. <coughs> oh man. I mainly try and use my ender pearls to get away from melee fights because I hate them so much. I always, I always get the bad end of it and get and end up getting knocked back a million times and not being able to hit anyone. It's normally what happens to me in melee. Yeah, I like melee because for me I just like swing madly and <laughs> run in circles and then I typically kill them. Oh wow, it's just me, you, and Happy Kirby. Yeah. The server cleared out quick. Yeah, only like eight people when you joined. Might be a UHC starting soon and they joined it or something. But, Is yeah. there any UHCs coming up, actually? I'm not sure. Know. See, now this is not good, because I know he's better at me than a bow. And you don't have an And he has more health than me. But you have a health bot. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have been holding that. <laughs> I knew anyways, because you killed Happy, and I didn't see your health go up on tab. Always pay attention to tab guys on UHC servers. Yeah, definitely. Really pays off. Oh no, I can't hit. Get away. Oh no, I'm suffocating. Oh, oh 
was almost really bad. Oh god, you're at zero. <laughs> that supplication. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. Where's Kirby? <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably just gonna like walk up to him and smack him. Just give him a nice little high five. Where is he? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's just gonna be like somewhere. I feel like he's like AFK on the spawn platform. Oh, maybe he never clicked respawn. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Cause then it's still oh my music's stupid. Don't kill me. Okay, well okay. since Happy Kirby's not doing anything, it's just gonna be one v ones. There we go. And you're Even probably though. gonna kill me a bunch of times because you know how to melee fight and I don't. <coughs> yeah, but you know how to bow fight and I don't. Oh, we got a river between us. That's a good sign. If you want to maintain a bow fight, get a river between you and your enemy. That makes it harder for them to get into a sword fight with you. Oh yeah, we should explain jump shots. Jump shots? There's not much to explain about them. You just like, if you see the enemy's name, and you know how to calculate your shots decently, you should be able to jump up and shoot them. Yeah, but for you, you know when to shoot when I jump. <laughs> and you know how to shoot. Also leaves you temporarily vulnerable to enemy shots. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, and you that's can also lovely. shoot over blocks. Which is always, it's always a bad idea to have the low ground in a bow fight. Because the enemy can then shoot over the blocks that you're standing on and manage to hit you occasionally. So, bow fight above, like, upper ground, but yeah. melee fight you want the low ground, so... I would honestly say in a melee fight you would also want the high ground. Because in the high ground you can jump down onto the enemies, and if, like... Say, like, you had to go up a hill to try and melee someone. Um, you had to go up a hill to try and melee someone, but they want a bow fight, they can just shoot you repeatedly and knock you backwards. Okay, this is what I mean about knockbacks. Oh, that was a bow spam. It worked out, though, don't worry, guys. <laughs> I tend to do that. I tend to panic in melee and just randomly shoot my bow occasionally. Hey, you still got me. <laughs> I feel like whoever finds Kirby's just gonna get an ex extra health pot. <laughs> I'm pretty like sure he just never clicked respawn. Yeah, I feel like that's what it was too. Oh! That's probably gonna get me some full damage. Nope, right under a tree, perfect. Like right now, I'd say your situation is preferable because you have more health than I do. You still have your ender pearl, jerk, and you had the high ground. And so, if I tried to go in for melee, which would be a horrible idea on my part, then I would never attempt it. But if I did try for it, I would end up trying to climb up a hill, and you could be just shooting me, which is never a good idea. Sorry for kind of like repeating some of the same tips. I'm. I don't know. No, it's, just... it's a good thing, because then they get to really in it, their heads. Yeah. Uh, with bows, I would say the best place to aim is if they're close by, right onto them. And if they're kind of far away, like just above them. You never want to be aiming like this. I'm going to show an example. You never want to be aiming like it, like this if uh, like squad is right there. You don't want to be aiming like this to hit him. You want to be aiming more about here. And you'll lose your hits. <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to see what he's talking about, go check out his channel and watch his video. Because yes. you can't see that from my point of view. Yes. Oh god, no. And if somebody's, like, really far away, you also don't want to be aiming super low. Or even if they're close by. If they're, if they're close, anywhere from, like, a melee to, like, about, I would say, like, 10, 20 blocks away, you want to be aiming, like, straight on them. Your cursor should be straight onto them. But and you don't anything wait. more than that. It should be slightly higher, and the farther away they are, the higher you should aim. And you shouldn't... Well, wait, what was it? Oh, yeah. You shouldn't unequip your sword ever until you're in, like, three blocks within them. Yeah. Always have your bow out until that point. Oh, I can't hit. Oh. And that is how you knock them back while sprinting. Okay, yep, and now it's just me and you, so I'm assuming yeah. you itch or something started, because the yeah. server's pretty popular and nobody was on. Yeah. Okay, 
so hmm. next tip I kind of run out of tips for melee basically all melee is is click as fast as you can move around in circles um don't jump or else you'll go flying and end up like way in a really random spot and um also like try and get high ground so you can jump down but low ground is also kind of good because you can use it like you can hit higher when you're lower if that makes also, sense this is just a little tip that I've kind of learned. If you're trying to get crits by jumping, you really shouldn't be jumping, like he said. But when a player knocks you, this is kind of, I'm not sure if it's intended by Mojang, but if a player is hitting you, they're actually knocking you into the air. So when you land, if you can land a hit while after they hit you, you're going to get a critical hit. Yeah. Because you're landing on the ground without you jumping. Yeah. And that's another thing with, like, how Mojang works. <laughs> well, Minecraft works, I should say. Not Once again, not sure if Mojang intended it or anything. But there is a, actually um, a thing in Minecraft where if you fall three blocks and then get knocked up half a block by a sword hit, you will take fall damage. And I found that to be very annoying when I'm at half a heart trying to run away from a sword fight and I end up getting hit up half a block and then fall two or three blocks and then take a lot of damage. No, I'm not and we have position. the hill scenario here where he's trying to climb the hill and I can just knock him backwards and inevitably <laughs> kill him from suicide. Oh, I just... Oh, that was stupid. Also, and there's another person on If you're on watching Squatter's video, come over to my channel to see the stupid thing I just did. And yeah. Oh, he's above me. Crap. Oh. I think he was following us. Oh, he just took a load of fall damage. He just, he just jumped off the thing right onto me. Also, jungle biomes suck. <laughs> okay, now I, know, tip. now I know where you're coming from. But it just, they suck. Shh, don't talk about my jungles that way. <laughs> well, I, I shouldn't say they suck. I love jungles. I've built in jungles many times. I don't like when you yeah. have to traverse them. I, I don't really like walking through them either. Basically the only reason I even like considered building in the jungle balance was because they added the melons in 1.7. And melons are amazing, obviously. So. Yeah, I mean, you're playing with the squad of melon, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Team melon. Team melon. Team house. <laughs> also, I need to talk to you after this video about something that I need to do on the Outcast server together. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Um... I haven't really talked... Uh, well, it's on... Oh, crap. Squad has done videos on uh, his channel before on the server, but I haven't talked much about it. It's basically... You spawn with... What, why are both of you up there? <laughs> Where are you? I can't... Oh. John's glitched in the wall, I think. Oh god, no. Why? So much fall damage, I just oh, fell no. off the mountain. How can I not hit you? Oh, I'm that just was that not fair. John oh, just somebody fell off. fell off, too. Can I find his pot? I can! Wow. Now fair. I'm at full health. <laughs> you're 99, or, actually. Yeah, but it's full hearts, I don't no, understand. No, you're 99, it doesn't count. That's right, John also, the Hobo. Teleport um, right to me. With the new UHC um, plugin, you can see the exact percentages of health. So that's really useful because Mo because Mojang added in a percentage system instead of just full heart, half heart system. And so it makes it a lot more accurate for PvP. And it's very useful. Except it's hard to read. Yeah, it's hard to understand sometimes. When I first saw it, I had no clue it was actually percentages. I thought it was just the health plugin was glitched. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, I should have thrown one of these before you even entered the fight. Oh, no, oh, right over my head. No, I'm just kidding. It didn't go anywhere near me. Shh. Don't tell them secrets. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, that's another thing. You probably won't want to give the people you're fighting advice on where to shoot Okay, you. I'm already getting better after this session with you. Uh, I think you were already good in the first place, and you're just lying to your viewers the whole time about being bad at PvP. To convince them? <laughs> like, hey guys, if you see me in the UHC, come kill me, because I'm really bad, and then you just murder them completely. No, but seriously, you are pretty good. I'm worse at redstone. Does that count? <laughs> I'm really bad at redstone as well. It can be like, team redstone sucks or something. The only... No, no! Way to waste an ender pearl. The only knowledge I have well, is like... I accidentally started attacking this guy while he was typing it in real life. Sorry, guy. Like, the only so, time I could do something with redstone is like, put a redstone torch next to a redstone wire. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even think I could do that. <laughs> but seriously, I need to do this to you. But... Don't, don't, no, this isn't fair. I call hacks. He's cheating. I I always like to. I don't know if I'll do it on the Outcast server this season, but I like to rename my bow Aimbot and rename my sword Notice. <laughs> <laughs> In your, oh. uh, first episode on the server, I was actually messing around, uh, with my friend, uh, Nate, or GreatKiller93, is his Minecraft username. Because a friend actually gave it to him. Um, but, yeah, I was actually messing around with him on here, and it was a lot of fun. He, uh, he was just doing a bunch of silly things, like taking off his armor and actually trying to kill people. Or, like, throwing away his bow and only trying to use melee and stuff like that. And at one point, um, he shot himself to death. And so it was, like, Greg Killer 93 was shot by Greg Killer 93 And he just called out in chat, HACKS! <laughs> I call HACKS, ban him! Um, <laughs> I actually just did that. I was stuck in a web and I shot myself, and it gave me a kill streak. Oh. <laughs> Apparently killing yourself gives you a kill streak. So if you want to start off with a kill streak of one, yeah. you can do that. <laughs> I just suck with a bow. Like, I can melee kind of-ish, but I can't bow. I'd say you're really good in melee. I just know how to play with lag. <laughs> I learned how to play Minecraft on a computer that can no longer play Minecraft. Oh, by the way. Like, it has zero <laughs> FPS I when I turn him Minecraft over on. over the health potion, and then I picked it up. Oh no, he might actually kill me. Nope, he did. Oh man, I fell and took like... It's okay, I'll get a revenge damage. kill. That was not good. Fall damage is a very bad thing in PvP and uh, UHC. It'll just ultimately get you killed. Yeah. Because fall a lot damage. Of fall sucks. damage adds up very quickly. I I'm known to like jump off like a four block cliff and just take half a heart <laughs> and like be like oh.